Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Classic Angling. We're back at good old McDonald Lake. Where we're here to accomplish three goals today. One is to catch a fish on a hair rig right there, which is what I showed how to tie in yesterday's video. That's actually the rig I tied yesterday. So, number two is just catch a ton of fish, a ton of carp, hopefully some good two or three pounders. That are hopefully active this time of year. And then last goal is to just catch a crappie on the fly. That fly there, that little crazy Charlie there, that's what caught this lake, the lake record crappie out of here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get some other good sized crappie with that. Maybe, maybe even break it. I doubt it, but we're gonna try anyway. They sure are jumping today, I'll tell you that. It's early fall, like I said, it's, the, it's between early spring there's a ton jumping right here, but between early spring, early fall, those are my favorite, to, by far my favorite times to fish for carp, because they're they're feeding heavily and they're big most of the time. But there's one actually. No, no, wait, those are turtles. Never mind. But anyway, so we're gonna catch some carp, crappie, maybe a surprise crab, catfish, and uh, wow, there's literally one right here, but uh. Let's go, let's go catch one. Well, first fish of the day is not hooked in the mouth, but this guy wanted to s swim with it. How sweet. Wow, looks like this thing doesn't usually catch the lake record sometimes. You get a lot of bites. Oh, he's hooked good. Uh, sorry, buddy. But, uh, there we go. First fish of the day. And a ton of bites on that because there's fish jumping everywhere. Who knows? The carp could eat that too. More the fly, not the fish, but he's gonna put them back. I'm a hardcore savage there, boy. Crushed it. Like, real good. Holy crap. Come on. Get out of your gullet. Second fish of the day. Nice succulent crappie. Always nice to catch some of these, especially on that decent sized fly that's good all right guys i got what i came for hey <laughs> Woo. no bite no nothing just started reeling in so i can recast it boom Hooked perfectly super easy removal just well, we'll chill out oh I'm gonna start calling these McDonald Giants. Holy crap. They're jump they're just huge ones, like two or three pounders just jumping all over the place. Like right above my Herrick and stuff. But uh I guess the only thing I caught so far was this little dude. So uh I'm gonna put him back. Bye dude. Alright, let's catch a bigger one. Guys, hair rig, hair rig fish. Oh my goodness, that was the bite of a lifetime right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna use. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. That's a hair rig netter right there. Whew! Hair rigs rock. I am for the hair rig. There's nothing wrong with hair rigs, guys. Come here. Oh, in the net. Oh, I lost my bait stop, dang it. Oh man. Oh, it's right there. Hold on. Where's my landing mat? I got something new to show y'all, too. My landing mat. Oh, no, 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 no. And a landing mat. Landing mat. Dang it. Just stay on the landing mat. Dang it. The point was not to get dirt on that. Here, where's my... Save the bait stop. There we go. That way, just get whatever you can. Or save whatever you can. Oh, I'm going to leave that there. All right, guys, so what this is, this is called landing mat. It's actually just a bag I recycled. Oh, he choked it. Um, but anyway, that little rag get, is supposed to pre prevent the dirt from getting on him. And uh, he did not want to stay on it, so he got dirt on him anyway. But hopefully on the next fish, we won't have to do that. See? Good old hair rig fish right there. Yeah, where's the side that doesn't have dirt on him? All right, nice. Yeah, let's get out a little bit. Nice succulent carp here. 
First hair rig fish ever. Honestly, very proud of myself. I've been work. I'm trying to figure out all you know for a long time how to use hair rigs and how to tie them, how to use them and stuff. Today they pay off. They catch good fish. This is one of my best McDonald fish I have caught in a long time. Probably about a half pound. Um, might just scale them. I mean, they weren't as big as the fish we were catching yesterday, but I mean, it might have been about average of what we caught yesterday. Only difference is there's no loud generator, so we're gonna get a scale on them real fast. He's actually three quarters of a pound, so not a bad fish. That's one that would have been a big one, a bigger one yesterday. So, all right, let's go put him back. All right, let's get him back. Yeah, you might do this. There we go. Beautiful, nice little succulent tart. Let's wash the dirt off him while we can. Yeah, he's he's kicking. Clean the dirt off him so he's nice and healthy for the next catch. In the angler who catches him, are you gonna go or what? I can tell this water's getting cooler too. So that's what I mean. Fall bite, they're getting on. They're getting on the bottom and getting it on. I mean, that took longer than expected, but that was very cool. Landing mat worked, the hair rig worked. I'm pretty happy right now. Well, guys, the circle hook, you know, I said yesterday it was better than the hair rig. I mean, it's caught more carp today, but look at the size compared to the what the hair rig caught. Look at him. He's feisty, but this is what normally would be a greenways giant. So, this catches big fish at greenways and small fish here, and then vice versa. All before the hair rig, but the hair rig actually didn't catch anything at all yesterday, so. Not a terrible fish, it's a fish. And uh, let's see, that's my fifth one of the day, I think. Yeah, fifth one. So, uh, not bad, we're gonna put them back now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sign of mud. Go. Come on. I'm trying to sign the mode to go. Just get out of here. Get out here. Go. There you go. Woo! 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 That's slick. That's slick. But yeah, that went in the water five minutes. We just, I chummed that spot. I was fishing on this side of the pipe, but now I'm on that side. And uh, it's working. So, and that was per that went perfectly with what I was doing here. I'm going to take the dirt off, but that's the hair rig set up, guys. That's what caught that big old carp for this lake anyway. So uh, we're going to get back out there. Okay, guys. So that's what I'm doing to the hair grow. I'm leaving a lot of slack so they can really get into their mouths without no detection or without any detection. And so they pick it up and then that line, and then they get that feel that hook and then they just start running. That line just sings tight. So uh, that's why I caught that last fish and hopefully we'll get another one. We got a good good spot going see did you see that so yeah we got we got a great spot going well guys not big by any means again on the circle hook <laughs> all the corns are, i didn't even lose a single kernel of corn either perfect wow dink city on the circle hooks today hmm that's crazy the big ones are all jumping and these little babies are on the bottom they know what's up. They know winter's coming, and they know they gotta they gotta fatten up first, which is which is my thought. But I don't know. I don't know how how their thought process works. I'm gonna leave them over here where I don't slip and slide into the water, cause you can't go swimming here, sadly. So here it goes. Woo! Nice. Well, let's catch another one, guys. Stuff with these things today. Ah! You got the camera all wet. That gummit. Come on, fish. No better than that. Yeah, this actually looks. There we go. All right, perfect. Another dink though. Ah, and the hairy still hasn't gotten bit yet. So, just gonna put him back for now. Come on, get bigger. Other way. Other way. Other way. There you go. Alright. Oh, well, at least we're catching things. 
small and large and uh small and smaller you know i never dink guys i was on the phone with someone and it bit when it bit so i couldn't film the fight oh geez well there's a fight right there that's the most fights put up all day so here should use the landing mat on him all right let's get you back buddy oh yeah beautiful all right i only got like five minutes left so i'm gonna start packing up hopefully something hits that hair while i'm packing up so anyway guys we'll do a wrap up in a little bit all right guys so i really hope you enjoyed today's episode of classic angling i'm sorry it was only filled with dinks but we did catch our first hair rig fish and so we figured out that the hair rig works and so my video wasn't pointless last night so uh we're good so thank you for watching this well if you haven't already subscribe like this video share it do all the good the good stuff to this video thank you for watching this episode of classic angling we'll see y'all next time